Hi guys, watch us transform this small bathroom with peel and stick luxury vinyl tile. Welcome to our channel, where Darius and Ocula of DIY Power Couple. And in this video, we're going to do a DIY project that we can't wait to share with you. This small bathroom looks so good now, stay to the end to see how it turns out. So our friend wanted to update her small bathroom and was getting a little discouraged at the prices of stone tile and contractor quotes to install the flooring that she really wanted. We asked her would she consider peel and stick luxury vinyl tile because it is groutable and they have options that look like stone and it's so budget friendly. She was excited about this peel and stick option. So her and her husband replaced their old multi-layered wallpaper, painted their vanity, picked out hardware, and got excited about their new floor. And this is where the floor transformation begins. What's nice is that we could still use the existing vinyl floor as our subfloor. We removed the quarter round trim and got our subfloor as clean and smooth and free of debris as we possibly could. We thought we could use this new tile cutter tool to make the project go faster. It said it works with tile but it didn't work or cut for us. So we ended up using our trusted box cutter, L shaped ruler and a speed square. We'll leave a link for these tools in the description. Since the old subfloor had a square pattern it was easier to find the midpoint so that we could lay our new tiles. If you love DIY like we do, please connect with us on your favorite platform at DIY Power Couple. We decided to lay these tiles in a brick pattern so we marked the halfway point. This mark lets us know where to line up the next row of tiles. Our first cut was the tile that fits around the air vent. We like peel and stick tiles because we use a box cutter for most of the project. We try to do special cuts like this in the beginning. This is one reason why we recommend peel and stick for beginner DIYers. Once we get the starter tile down, it's much easier to build the brick pattern around it. We take our time when laying down luxury vinyl tiles because we're using spacers and we want to make sure our grout lines are really nice and straight.
Each tile is centered by the grout line of the previous row. Hubby and I are tag teaming throughout the entire process. Yeah, after you lay the full ones, I come in to measure and cut the end tiles. This is the first time that we used our oscillating tool to lay down peel and stick luxury vinyl tiles. If you're not good at making irregular cuts, this tool is perfect for helping you to easily slide the tile under the door jam. It saved us so much time and energy and gave the bathroom floor a cleaner look around the edges. Once the tiles are all down, this is normally when you would roll them to bond them to the floor. But for this small bathroom floor, we just used our body weight. We let the tiles set, removed the spacers, and vacuumed in between the tiles so that we could prepare to grout. At this point, the floor was already looking beautiful. I like to take a little bit of the vinyl grout and put it directly on the grout line before I use my trowel to rub it in. I don't want to waste it or make it so there's so much that I have to wipe up with the water and sponge.
Once the grout was dry, we used power grab to glue the quarter round trim to the baseboards. We like this because it covers all of the gaps and peel and stick towel edges that are against the wall. These luxury vinyl tiles sat overnight so that the grout and the tile adhesive had time to set in. We were all super happy with how the floor turned out and the low cost for these tiles. Our friends also started to use this peel and stick in the hallway and their laundry room. This small bathroom transformation was truly amazing. We want to encourage you that updating your home and personalizing your space is easier than you think. I love that these tiles are a budget friendly way to make your home better than before. Thank you for watching and check out some of the new videos on our Peel and Stick playlist. And remember, you can DIY too. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. And we hope that you have a better understanding about peeling stick tiles. <laughs>